Welcome to my channel, Crafty Come Lately. I'm going to share with you my latest junk journal, and it's just a one signature, pretty simple. Um, I did sew it, but the simple saddle stitch binding, which I also did for a couple of my notebooks from before, um, which I think I've shared, hopefully I've shared, um, like this one, which is a simple saddle stitch. Yeah, I think this is the one I actually demonstrated in a different video. So I'll put the link of that um, in a link somewhere below in the description box or in a pop-up. And um, the front I just embellished very lightly. But this notebook is much, much thicker. Um, it's 12 sheets times 2. So it's really 24 pages. Uh, much, much thicker than that little notebook that I just showed you. Um, but I kept the embellishments on the front pretty flat and light. I used dry clay, so very light and airy. And uh, this is with food color neon green that uh, is available, of course, for Easter, but I had it from last year. And uh, ribbon and some acrylic painted um, sheets of paper from a book um, that I punched as like petals. And then this one is with a special shaped scissors that looks kind of like a postage stamp. So this is the cover. And hopefully it will stay in semi in frame, but still be as far as can be for the camera view. Uh, the front inside cover is just the other side of the scrapbook sheet. And it has like a glassine bag, but it's uh, my own wax paper that I make into a pocket. And you can stick in a tag um, in there. And this is a composition book paper with um, some color sprays that I make myself. Like this would be the neon green um, with uh, water added to it that's just sprayed into it and some pink there same on the other side of course and on the other side of the other side and the back back so yeah you will see it again on the 29th page or whatever it is and this one I created with um, just ink pad by color box color box color box um, and I did mostly green on this side, I guess green and yellow here, sorry, yellow and green and green here, a little Paris stamp and some scrapbook paper there and a circle punch of a different scrapbook paper there, a little butterfly with some postage stamps to kind of keep it still the international travel, even though this is not necessarily a travel journal, but it could be. Uh, scrapbook paper folded over and it's double sided so this would be the other side of that scrapbook paper it's really pretty I love those roses and there's that and on this side I made an envelope and I copied it from a little Gucci gift um, envelope that came with perfume purchase and uh, so I just duplicated the exact same cut and that's even including the tuck-in spot right there. And a little um, card there for the insert. And then actually just to be funny, I put another envelope on the envelope on this side. This one uh, using my envelope puncher thingy from We Are Memory Keepers. So I'm putting that to good use. I'm making lots of little envelopes. Tons and tons having fun. So I will do that in a separate video if anybody needs, but there are really good videos out there already. And uh, this one is a fancy Daiso, beautiful, um, what do you call it, trim with roses. And I haven't seen that for a really long time, but I should have snatched more. It's really pretty. Uh, on parchment paper, that's baked a little bit, not too, too much. And um, yeah, somebody mentioned that you can't write on it, so they're using tracing paper. This is Denise. Actually mentioned it, and she's absolutely right. I think I use it more for texture and for that crinkling sound because I don't really bake too much of my papers. So um, it's more for the quality to have that hazy look. Like in the old days of collecting stamps, you would have that or something like that to protect your stamps. And I just love that look of the stamps through that sheet, actually. So it's half for look. I mean, it's for sure for looks, not for um, writing. But I will have to try the tracing paper. I love that idea. This is a notebook taken apart. So that's a little folded there. This is a scrapbook paper that I cut just a little shorter. And this one is another envelope I made out of a different scrapbook paper that came from Tuesday morning. So did that one that came from a Tuesday morning pack of like 12, no, not 12, 
uh, 15 or 20 identical sheets of paper. So um, I just folded it and copied another uh, template of an existing envelope. And this one is a dry embossing technique with uh, just Tim Holtz, photo, I think the vintage photo distress ink on top of that. And it's one embossing folder with two types, two sides. So I love that one. It's the only embossing folder I have. And this one is folded over, scrapbook sheet there with a cute little tag there. And these are, actually that's a blank one. So yeah, out of Daiso I got two different sizes um, just recently. I got the smaller index cards. They're called the minis and there's 200 of them in this pack. They're clear, meaning there's no lines. And uh, the regular size index cards, there's 100. Um, but it comes with ruled paper, which is cool, but it comes in the correct way. I like this one a lot. So I'm using that a little bit throughout. And this is the other side of scrapbook paper. This one is a Daiso take apart notebook paper and a cute little like Irene inspired crafty uh, Irina inspired kind of a banner, but I didn't do the folded flag or the corner banner thingy. Just that little button there. And it's vellum sheet of paper, vellum scrapbook paper, I should say, that I made that from. And a little uh, embossing, but it's very thick gold embossing powder. It's for sure not glitter. It didn't melt very well, and I didn't want to burn my paper, so I didn't go too far. So it's kind of more sparkling rather than embossed look. A scrapbook sheet folded into half on this side, so it shows on this side to make a pocket. Here it just looks really cute and embroidered almost looking. So on this side, it's a tuck spot and maybe I added too much glue. My little trick, and maybe this was too much, is I put a little glue inside here so that it will hold the card so that when you have the thing kind of halfway folded over, it doesn't fall out but that might have been too much glue in that case. So some butterflies, some more inks from the color box, uh, ink color pads, and you can see the lines right here that go this way, which I love. And this one is my own homemade tag out of Manila folder. And this one is just a, a notebook paper, not a notebook paper, but more like a stationary blank paper that's kind of off-white. And I used a, like a, it's like, uh, it came in a Tim, <laughs> it came in a Tuesday morning pack of paper. And um, it was, of course, a nice little, whatchamacallit. It was one nice sheet of paper, but I used it like a stencil and I sprayed through it um, a few colors like orange and kind of ambery and burnt brown and things like that. And it just has really fun sparkles because these are, some are, most of these are homemade sprays. So I use a lot of um, sparkles in them. And so these I wind up cutting up and using here. So that's one of the butterflies there. This is a butterfly stationary um, postage stamps. I love that. These are collect stamps. So I'm really into the stamps. And uh, this is a music sheet, Prima, little cheap stamp that's less than a dollar. And this is the, also that little Daiso pack. So I stamped that. Um, this one I folded over the sheet here. So this could also be a tuck spot up here. Sorry, I'm off camera. But this is a tuck spot up here too. Music sheet Kenny Rogers I got from the Goodwill. This is a little frame that I made. Uh, just put some um, texture through a stencil. And I left it as a tuck spot here to put in a photo. But this is just a placeholder. Just to let people, people, whoever gets this album, know that they can put in a photo if they would like. And this is the next page. Kept it in the musical theme. So this is another... Uh, stationary scrapbook paper that has the music sheets but it's an all gold pretty foil looking and a couple more tuck spots with tags and this is the brand new Tim Holtz uh, washi tape that I just picked up a Tuesday morning so I kind of kept the black and white theme as well uh, these are two ripped pockets of different uh, this one is just solid yellow and this one is that same beautiful package from that Victorian collection from Colorbach. 
So that's why I get confused. Color box, color box. Um, and this is that Daiso um, little index cards with a beautiful stupendous um, stamp that I got. Very cute Paris theme. This is the center with a doily that I got for Valentine's Day that was very discounted. And I just inked it a little bit with pink. And this is my stitching right there in the center. And this could also be a photo frame. I left it open at the very top. So it technically could be two photos inserted into here. And a cute little homemade flower that I've made there. The other side of the Kenny Rogers um, music sheet there. And I made this a pocket. And I also put in more music sheets there. And the next page includes more music sheets here. This is another talk sp spot right here. And I just noticed that I didn't put in anything there. Let's pretend that that's a tag that goes there. And more scrapbook paper with postage. And a cute little mermaid stamp that I used Perfect Pearls um, to color back before that I had embossing powders. Or actually I had embossing powder but no heating gun. So that's like a, it's almost like an effect of getting embossing before heating gun maybe came along. I don't know. <laughs> before it came to my life. And uh, this is again that stationary off-white, but I stamped it kind of lightly, <clears throat> um, imperfectly, the Distress Ink from Tim Holtz. And that's the other side of the tag, but this one I used the Corner Punch from Daiso just to give it a different flavor on this side. Uh, a pocket that I made from just a scrapbook paper. I used a trim here that's also just scrapbook paper and a tag right here. Manila folder um, paper on this side and a printable on that side. Scrapbook paper there. Uh, this is again the stupendous stamp that I used there on the Daiso sheet there. And this one, um, just a cute little postcard stamp that I put on just pink paper. And I just tucked it. It's almost like a, whatchamacallit, like a belly band, but it's a diagonal and hopefully it'll stay there and one of my envelopes that I've made with my en en envelope puncher and I even made a little, cute little card to match on just plain cardstock and this is a tag from Case K and Company is that what it is yeah K and Company tag pads right there um, torn paper there to make the pocket this is the other side of the notebook paper, a Daiso punch right here to make a pocket here on the parchment paper here, and a tag to go with it, and a cute little punch, not a punch, sorry, a sticker trim here, and this is like a bookmark made out of, uh, these are the, the scraps of um, what you call cardstock that come together in a bunch, like a pounder or two pounder, however they come for five dollars. I picked up a Tuesday morning, and this is again the postcard stamp that I love so much. Wood mountain. It's one of the few wood mounted rubber stamps I have. So this one is an orange orange sheet of paper. A corner puck pocket here. More scrap of paper there. The composition paper there with the sprays of colors. A little crafty Rena inspired paper clip there. And um, this one is that mesh that I just picked up at Tuesday morning and I used it for a pocket. And that's the front cover. And that's that uh, Daiso, the correct, actually, this is the old fashioned um, index card there. And that is it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I didn't make you dizzy with the flip and that it was far enough from the camera. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know below and I'll be happy to answer. So thank you so much for watching.